two one and two teams each hoping to get back to 500 and we're underway in week four fielded a couple yards into the end zone and ultimately he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25 at their own 25 yard line Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Oh, and after the sack, he's still down on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Another try after the first down sack. Rodgers. And he's going to be taken down. Sacked back at the two. And now following that sack, looks like we've got an injured man down there on the field. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. And indeed, that's what they'll do is they run it here. And they'll mark him down right around the nine, just shy of the ten. It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves them looking at a fourth down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. To return is Taylor. 62 yards on the punt that time. Wow. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Ryan will bring the Falcons up now first and 10 at their own 24. He'll throw from the gun. Man open. That's Calvin Ridley. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Calvin Ridley. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They run with the former Pitt Panther, Quadri Olison. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the 45-yard line. Play action. Ryan. Caught on the right side by Jones. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 26. That one covers 29 yards. First down. That catch is number 819 of his career. It ties him with Hall of Famer Steve Largent who did things largely below the radar, not this guy. 819 catches, that speaks loudly and volumes. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. It's a gain of four, and it's third down. On third down, Ryan. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. And eight yards. They just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. From the red zone now, here's Ryan on first down. I have no crystal ball up. Ryan hit, and he lost the football. Correction, Smith. Let's go. Smith. Ryan sack. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. Here's Ryan to throw. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And it's third down. On third down, Ryan. This will be caught at about the five. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. But it brings up fourth down. They'll run for it with Smith, and he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. Edo Smith, his first touchdown of the year. And the Falcons have taken the early lead. 
Well, this is a crew. They've come out flat their last two games, both losses. But just judging by the energy level, they look different here early, and that touchdown shows how. Yeah, it seems to me that that touchdown gets them off the treadmill. Because, you know, you, you've you been on the treadmill. I've seen you work out. You go forever <laughs> and ever, and it tells you you've gone somewhere, but you really have. You're in the same spot. They've exchanged it for an escalator. Still got some hills to climb, but they can get there. Those are good analogies. I run outside sometimes, though. So, yeah, get, get some fresh air, a little sun on your face. A little, a little wind in there. Yeah, that's right. Rodgers now on first down. Out of the backfield, this is Aaron Jones. And yeah, they work this well upfield across the 45. Yeah, good for 21 yards on the catch and run. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. First quarter with the score Falcon seven, Packers nothing. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Rodgers going to throw. Slant to Adams. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. 21-yard line. Rodgers again now. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Only the Titans converted more red zone opportunities into touchdowns than the Packers last year. And they've got an opportunity here, first and goal. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the 6-yard line. The 6-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. This will be caught at about the six. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. To throw, it's Rodgers. The third down battle won by Atlanta's defense. Solid coverage. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Makes the score, Falcon 7, Packers 3. A good drive gets him inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. The Falcons take over first and ten. At their own so for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 24. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And yeah, that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. They throw again on second down. This one's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Third down. To throw on third down. Ryan. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. He had to figure they'd try and get the ball to Julio early, and they did it right there. And it doesn't take a degree from MIT to know that, so you had to figure, what's up with the defense? You should know that that's coming right away. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. From midfield now, here's Ryan. That's complete to Smith. 
And he'll be taken down after a pickup of about seven as the clock will stop here for the two-minute warning. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Four yards the pickup. First down. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Now a throw for the left sideline, and he's got it. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Seven yards there and a first down. First down, Falcons. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. Over the middle to Smith. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. The Falcon passing game looking good on this drive as they get the first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. To throw again is Ryan. The quick slant caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. They'll run with Smith. And this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. Marching back onto the field now, Devontae Adams and company getting set to go. There's a lot of talk in training camp about him getting off to a hot start this year, saying that they needed that. Well, he's done it through the first month. It kind of reminds me of one of those great musical groups where one person has their name out front, then they have the backups, right? <laughs> he's the guy out front because the backups, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, but we're going to the headliner each and every time. And that's not easily done because you know all the defenses are kicking towards him right now. That means he's fighting his way through traffic, finding ways to get open, even when he's not supposed to be. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That's good. We're at Green Bay. Now they've completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Funches with a catch over the middle. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 more yards there and another first down. First and ten at the 23-yard line. 
And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. He hit his first, this one from 40 yards out. The kick by Crosby is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin up at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. Josh Rosen leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. From there, we're off to check out another game, and they were winners in that one over the visiting New York Giants. 31-15 was your final. Finally, we finish at MetLife Stadium to see what's going on with the Jets. And they were winners in that one as they take care of the visiting Denver Broncos. Sam Darnold, sharp in the victory, as his guys bounce back from a tough start to the year to claim victory number one. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Falcons back to receive. They've got the lead, and they'll get this football as the second half gets underway. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. So here are the Falcons to take over on offense. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. Ryan will bring the Falcons up now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll begin with a handoff to Smith. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. But I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move. Oftentimes, the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. He made his first. This from 47 yards out. And this one is right down the middle. And that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13-6. to six. Packer is six. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in courts, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, we've kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. 
Working from the gun, Rodgers. And he's going to drop this off to Williams, complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Packer first down. At the 49-yard line. going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And he checks this one down to Williams. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 28. A gain of 13. It's a first down. 28-yard line. Rodgers now on first down. And that is caught. Oh, what a catch at the five-yard line. 23 yards on the play. Got to love the catch. I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great. And they're fun. They've become a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. And I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing. But I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. Only the Titans converted more red zone opportunities into touchdowns than the Packers last year, and they've got an opportunity here first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. He was brought down by... And they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise. This close to the goal line, because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Second down and goal. Rodgers to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Third and goal from the two, and they're going with a jumbo set offensively. They'll try to run it in. It's Williams. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. So on fourth down, Mason out trots the kicker the in a big spot here. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And Crosby puts it through, and that'll bring him back within four. Makes the score Falcons 13, Packers 9. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the end. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays they are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first down, and the goal... End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in, and he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A gain of 15. 15 yards, first down Atlanta. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. 
from the shotgun, Ryan. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. A nine-yard pickup just one yard away from three consecutive first down plays. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. On second down, it's Smith, and he gets it down to the 32. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now Ido Smith. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Ryan. Well, it's caught on the right side at Smith. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. They'll run for it here with Smith. And he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. Caught on the right side by Adams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Aaron Rodgers so cool in these situations, but he's got it. That's caught inside the 20. And he finally is out of bounds, but he's down inside the 20-yard line. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. At the 17-yard line. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. And he floated one out there incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally commit. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Allen Bailey in there to make the sack on what will be the final act in this ballgame. I know when I was a kid, all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda.